Hey, how you doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at some wheel bearings on my 7 ton flatbed trailer. There's a lot of lateral play in uh, the wheels of tandem axle trailer and when there's a lot of lateral play it causes the trailer to shimmy all over the place when it's on the highway so especially when there's a load on there it's really not safe. Um, cause a lot of extra friction and wear on the bearings and worst case scenario if you spin a wheel bearing you can uh, really lose control of the vehicle. So we're going to take a look at this and if the bearings need to be replaced we'll replace them. Otherwise, we'll just tighten down the uh, the um, wheels and take her for a ride. So this is my seven-ton flatbed trailer. It's a custom-built trailer. Really rugged, really heavy-duty. Good brakes, tandem axle. Got some brand new, expensive, I might add, tires. Old wheels, old axles, but they're real rugged. You can see what this trailer's made out of, though. It's really unbelievable. It's got 10 inch I-beam carrying the entire trailer. If you look underneath it here, it's kind of hard to see, but it's supported by four inch by three inch angle iron running every 16 inches. It's really unbelievable. This thing, the trailer frame will carry many times more than the axles will. But what I have, it's kind of an annoying problem with some serious lateral play in these wheels. Taking one of the wheels off to take a look at the wheel bearing situation. But as you can see here, there's some lateral play. That's not nearly as bad as the other ones, but I have a feeling that these wheels are just not on well. If that's the case, no big deal. We'll just tighten them down. If the bearings need to be replaced, then we'll replace them tire, wheel. Take a look at how much play there is in that. That's ridiculous. We're going to fix that. Go ahead. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out the old grease here. Make sure we have a smooth surface to work with. Get it on both sides. Then we'll get some fresh grease, grease up this, this axle here. Notice I have my blue gloves. I'm using here a multi-purpose purpose lithium grease. Really the ideal grease to use would be the molly, the molybdenum grease. But this should be just fine. At the end of the day we're going to have this thing work so much better than it has been. Girl on here. Got some brand new tires on here. Okay. This is the bearing that we took out. Grease up the entire bearing here. A little liberal with it. It's about the only thing that I will be liberal with. <laughs> you catch my drift. Install the bearing. We'll loosely fasten the nut. It's finger tight. For now. That should recenter the bearing all by itself. Okay, let's finger tight. What we need to do is back the nut off. Find the cotter pin hole, reinsert the cotter pin. Then we'll just test this. That is tight. There is absolutely no play in that. It splints, spins plenty well. So we'll tap the cotter pin down.
bend it in place. Should be using a slightly larger set of needles. These pliers can be the best. Now we're good. On to the next wheel. Well, I got all the wheels tightened up on the flatbed trailer, and it turns out I didn't need to replace any of the wheel bearings, which is great. At least I'll have a little more peace of mind driving down the highway with a few thousand pounds on the back that I'm not going to spin a wheel out of control. But, uh, hey, if you like this video, we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a thumbs up on the video. Till next time, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.